Ladies and gentlemen, once more, welcome to the Ponds Forge Arena here in the Steel City of Sheffield. Making his entrance to the ring, the challenger this evening from Cardiff, Gary Buckland. the business he's known as a throwback Gary Buckland is as tough as they come and when he connects it's all over but can lightning strike twice can Buckland put Sykes away for a second time with a Lonsdale belt on the line there are plenty who think he can but last year he lost a challenge for the British lightweight title is Buckland ready to make it at the second time of asking at super featherweight and bring a second British title in as many weeks back to the Tony Ball gym in South Wales but Buckland finds himself in a terrific position tonight. He's challenging for the British title against a man who's already knocked out. He has uh, competed in higher weight divisions at long last. He feels he's in his proper weight division. He's the power, the strength and the condition to go all the way. And he tries to prove that tonight. And he is so tough, of course, that Gary Sykes, as he comes out of his dressing room with his entourage, they know it's going to be a long night, or they hope it's going to be a long night. Because the longer it goes, the more they feel their chances will increase. And now making his entrance to the ring, the proud champion from Dewsbury, Gary Sides. One of the real good guys of British boxing, Gary Sykes from Dewsbury, just up the road, can fulfil a dream by winning a Lonsdale belt outright tonight. He's definitely got the skills to do it. Does he have the concentration? Sykes says he's learned a lot from the prize fight of disaster, and he's confident that it will not happen again. And that when the dust has settled after 12 rounds, he believes his Lonsdale belt will be staying in Yorkshire for good. I think this is a real test of character for Gary Sykes. Plenty of fighters have been asked to come back from knockout, shattering knockout defeat to get on with their careers, but they haven't all been asked to come back and face the man who inflicted that defeat upon them. This is huge. I think the outcome of this fight can be on how he copes with the occasion. That's a chance to fulfil a dream, isn't it, for Gary Sykes, as we look at the tail of the tape. More in it. They both came in looking very good at the weight. Both made that at the first time of asking slight reach advantage for Gary Sykes. Some people in the business were saying Gary Buckler might struggle at Super Feather. No evidence of that whatsoever. As he clocked the scales at nine, three and a half at the first time of asking. Similar uh, records. A few more fights for Gary Buckland. A few more rounds as well. Higher KO percentage as we would expect. Gary Sykes has been in with some real good opponents and Buckland was the favorite earlier this week but that's been changing some smart money's been coming in on Gary Sykes they don't fancy him by a knockout however that six to one looks mean even Gary Sykes's team are saying it's not going to be a knockout win if it's going to happen it's going to happen over the distance and they trained for 12 rounds and they believe that the longer it goes the more his chances will increase ladies and gentlemen Hatton Promotions, sponsored by Biomax Nutrition, Palms Forge International Sports Centre, live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD Fight Night. Proudly present 12 three minute rounds of boxing for the Super Featherweight Championship of Great Britain. The officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge at ringside, Mr. Jeff. Bolton, matchmaker Richard Poxon, timekeeper the bell, Barry Pender from Sheffield. The three scoring judges at ringside this evening are Howard Foster from Mar Doncaster, Mark Green from Romford, and Dave Paris from Woodlesford, Leeds. Finally, when the action commences, the star referee in charge of the action is Mr. John Keane from Wellingborough. Introducing to you firstly, Boxing out of the red corner, wearing the blue colour shorts, trimmed with silver. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 
nine stone, three pounds, eight ounces. His excellent record reads, 25 contests, 23 wins. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout with only two defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the 2010 prize fighter champion presenting from Cardiff, the challenger this evening, Gary Dynamo Buckland. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue spangled shorts trimmed with red. At the weigh-in yesterday, he also scaled nine stone, three pounds, eight ounces. His outstanding record reads 20 contests, 19 wins. Five of those wins coming by way of knockout with only this single defeat, which he aims to avenge this evening, making the third defense of his championship, presenting the current Super Featherweight Champion of Great Britain, presenting from Newsbury, Gary Five Star Sykes. <laughs> Mr. King with his final instructions, 12 three minute rounds. Right, you both received your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of both of you. Shake hands and come out boxing. Good luck. So, final instructions from referee John Keane. Don't blink. We're not expecting a repeat, but just a reminder, if you're just tuning in, the last time these two met, it was all over in 45 seconds, and that fellow was on the floor. If that happens again, the Lonsdale belt changes hands tonight. Will it happen for Gary Buckland? Will Gary Sykes win that Lonsdale belt outright? Let's find out. I think in many ways, Jim, the best thing that could have happened to Gary Sykes after that prize fighter disaster was to go in with a real tough nut like Carl Johansson and get off the floor and win to defend your British title. That'll get your confidence back. Yeah, you have to ask, was that a freak result? Uh, if that same punch had landed in the third round when the adrenaline was flowing and it had warmed up, I mean, there is such a thing as being caught cold. I mean, I reckon Sykes has been hit with bigger punches than the one that knocked him out and still hung on in there and carried on with the job. But he is the one who has to be convinced of that, not us. And Sykes, you know, will be unloading right from the start. Talking to Tony Borges, trainer, he said they're going to come looking for him and going to try and knock him out of his comfort zone immediately. And yeah. that's a couple of times he's tried to land the right uppercut. A good left hook from Buckland. I think Buckland's plan must be to remind Sykes of the power that he carries as soon as possible and get him thinking negatively. Maybe get a couple of rounds in the bank. Concentration is the key. Talking to Julian McGowan, the trainer of Gary Sykes, as a right hand gets through, he said they've been working hard in sparring. They had sparring partners, real good quality opponents going in with him, and they're getting on him right from the start. They want to work on his concentration, because if you blink against Gary Buckland, it could be the end of the fight. Well, Buckland not having in much trouble finding the target up close. I would have expected Sykes to want this a little a little further range, you know, get the jab working, just nurse himself into this one, but he's standing right in front of Buckland. Good shot. And that's where Buckland likes his opponents. Couple of big right hands going in, and there he is looking for the uppercut again. But that's better from Sykes. See, Sykes, one of his biggest assets is his engine, his work rate. But when you do more punching than thinking, then you take chances and you, you offer target. And that's what's happening in the opening round. He's offering too much target to Buckland. Just missing the left hook there, and then the right hand comes whistling in. He really is delivering with full force right from the first second of this fight, Gary Buckland. Good little combination from Sykes, but it was flashy. And he definitely does not want to get drawn into a brawl with Gary Buckland. Well, I think he has to get the confidence that he can stand with Buckland, take his shots and still be there. And he's taken a few thumping punches in the opening round without flinching. But not a good round for the champion, I don't think. It'll be a good round if he can hear the bell for his psyche, if, as much as anything else. He can forget about that prize fight at debacle. And so, right, let's settle down for 12 rounds against this fella. The first round might not have been terrific. We've got a 